538, we'll call the meeting to order. Um, we have no public comment tonight. So we'll move right to uh, acceptance of the meeting minutes from July, which you all should have in your email. Thank you, Joel, for that quick turnout. We move we accept the minutes. Second. Karen, do you, uh, on the minutes, do you then send them to the city to get put yes. on the website? Yes. All the little things you don't know that happen <laughs> invisibly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Um, next is, um, so I don't have any more information about the Human Rights Conference in Boston. It's supposed to be sending more details. Um, they said later in the summer, which is, this is about as late in the summer as Yes, um, but we don't have any firm details yet. Um, Do we know the date? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the detail that the important, important detail to figure out who can go. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should just talk about. Well, we will have time in September, but maybe we should talk about if anybody thinks they might want to go if they can. Mm -hmm. Like I know I don't want to go. You don't. Yeah. Okay. I'd be interested. And I also know that I have a, um, I already have a one week conference scheduled in October, so that's not time available. Are there any times that you're not? No, not that I'm not in October, no. Okay. Is it, is it a weekday thing or? My guess is that it would be a weekday or an evening. Um, it looked like on the distribution list there were a number of um, municipal employees included. Would either of you be able to go? Not if it's a weekday, I can. So I click that. Do Do we know anything about what the meeting will be about or what those topics are? Uh, I can give you what they told us in the email. Um, they are identifying every. Commission in the Commonwealth, along with many nonprofits who perform similar work. Um, they are collecting uh, the kinds of activities that we organize to share a bit more about what sort of issues and resources are available in our communities and to help them develop and organize future programs and events. So it's to strengthen networking and share resources primarily. So it's a networking office. Yes. Apparently this has been going on in the Boston area, the Mass Association of Human Rights Commissions, uh, since 1998. But it seems to be, it have been just uh, focused in the Boston area. Well, I think it would be a good opportunity to do some networking and maybe find out about what what other human rights commissions do and also if there's any nonprofits that work with them over here that we might work with. You know, I hope you all can make it. Yes, I did respond to saying that North Angel is very interested in being connected with other Time Morel, I will let you know when I get the dates. Okay, I'll we'll check calendars. Okay. Booker, it was very convenient that we were able to reschedule the meeting last week. It's <laughs> really convenient. Yeah. So now we have real up to date. Well, uh, there was a meeting last week at the uh, sponsored by the Truth School for planning this um, session which is scheduled for October 16th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at Lyman Hall and it's called Host a Community Conversation with North, North Hampton Police Chief Joey Casper. A group of people got together last Wednesday to start making plans because actually there's no format for how that would happen or what would happen or how it would happen. 
Um, I'll just, the meeting was, um, there were a lot of different viewpoints in the room. Um, and I'll say that at the end of the meeting, the only decision is that they're still gonna try to do it, but there was no format for how it would occur. Yeah. Um, Um, was there any push to not do it? There were pushes from everything from um, let's do it but not invite the police to um, whether it should be something more along the tune of a, like a Northampton Connects kind of format of storytelling and narrative to tell. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are a lot of um, different opinions. And we've actually sort of been asked not to talk about what happened in the meeting outside the meeting. There is going to be another meeting on September 12th um, to talk more about what the formatting will be. And all of the people who were in the room the first session said they were going to be back this time. Um, they do not want additional people to join the group because of the nature of what happened during the first meeting. Um, there's also what Northampton Connects, which had three or four people in the room, um, want to continue to be a co-sponsor of whatever occurs. Um, there's going to be a meeting of Northampton Connects the night before, on September 11th. That was pre-scheduled before this meeting. Um, I think one of the things that happened in the meeting- like, wait, wait, when you say meeting, do you mean like an organizing meeting or one of those community conversations? It's not a conversation meeting, it's a planning okay. next, ne what are we going to do next kind of meeting. And um, um, I think one of the things that was suggested in that group was that a one-time conversation about policing would not really work. And some people felt that there should be a commitment to making it more of a series. Um, the truth school has decided that that's probably true, but they would not feel that they could do that. So if that was going to happen, it was going to be another source. So. I learned a lot. Things I never heard of. I, I do not have information in a format. If, if I knew, what, knowing what happened in the meeting, if I was asked to co-sponsor it, I would say no. Oh, really? See, the way I feel is, um, so can we talk about it? Yes, please. Um, I, I feel like, I, I mean, it seems to me we have to be able to talk about things in our communities and, um, you know, complained a lot about the police and this seems to me to be something that needs to happen and I can't see to me I can't see a reason why not to join an effort to bring people together to talk about the issues between the police and the community. Um, I was at the um, opioid uh, overdose awareness day vigil yesterday mm -hmm. and um, police were there people from the Hampshire jail were there um, and several men from the jail spoke about their <coughs> experience with the police and good experiences with the police and the police talked about their you know goals and working with people to save lives in the opioid um, epidemic and I'm not saying like so everything's great but there are examples of good police community relations and I don't really um, Think we're going to get very far if we don't allow ourselves to have communications. So, I, I, for me, without knowing what a, what kind of format it would be, I'm not sure it would be a conversation or a dialogue or a Q and A or. See, I think that was what 
the plan for that meeting was mm -hmm. going to be what is, is are, will this be a series of narratives? Mm -hmm. Will it be a discussion? Will it be a talk? Um, will it be a teach in? Will it be, and there was no, there was no clustering of thought um, by the end of the meeting. And that's, I think, why they, they are very committed to have it happen. And I, you know, I could read you what the, this, what this says, though they just were just putting something out there and they weren't wed to what this was going to be. Um, but the thoughts in the room were everything from let's do something like the Northampton Connects to the Stories panel discussion, fishbowl, da da da, to let's have a teach in. The police shouldn't be there at all. Mm -hmm. um, and there should be something very different. But there was no consensus. There was. Yeah. Yeah, there was no consensus. So the plan for the next meeting was to see. That's why they do not want to expand the number yeah. of people in the room. Um, I mean, I suppose if, you're, if there's another meeting and this isn't until October, we can talk about it again at the next meeting. Yeah, I think. <laughs> want to keep up, I will keep you appraised of whatever happens in that mission. Uh, the only way I would feel comfortable coming back to the Human Rights Commission and saying let's do this is if this was something formatted similar to the other Northampton okay. Connects kind of let's talk, let's tell stories, let's talk about experiences. Um, and that there's a discussion. There is another viewpoint, and um, there is another viewpoint that um, it's not what it's not. People don't feel safe being in the same room with the police. That that's but that that was not the arching issue. Mm -hmm. It was should police exist. So, yeah, you know, and that's a, I'd love to have a, if people want to talk about, well, I had never heard of the radical abolitionist movement before. And I'll, I learned about it for the first time in the room. Oh, that's one of the things that you learned. Mm -hmm. I see. And, but that viewpoint is there's no way the police should be there. Well, I mean, it seems to me that we should just table it do you have that next meeting and then say, okay, here's what the format is, and if the format is something we feel like we can be a part of, then we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. Any questions or questions? Sorry, I, I've got to stay a little bit. So when you said so when you said at this point, based on what happened, I wouldn't recommend that we co sponsor it. Um, you can't can you explain why? Does it feel like it's not productive, or the way it's going is not productive? Or I mean, are you? I guess. I guess my real question is: Do you think it's worth uh, bringing it back next month to talk about again? Um, I think it should be on the agenda to bring back. The though it might be in a sense that I, I think it ought to be on the agenda for a next discussion. It couldn't hurt. Okay. And you're going to go to the next meeting? Mm -hmm. It was, this is a meeting that a lot of people almost walked out of. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot of work <coughs> to keep people in the room. How many people were there? 13 or 14. So it's a very emotional. Were there other people from Northampton Connect there? Yes. Stan Shapiro was there. Um, I think they're going to mention that two or three of the facilitators from Northampton Connect were there. Um, the meeting was run by uh, 
about um, Andrea. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, you know, more than glad to talk with people outside. But I think it would be useful. I spent a lot of time, people I had difficult discussions with in the room, I met with them afterwards and said, can you give me more to read about this? And um, I've learned a lot, which was useful. Thank you for staying at that table. <laughs> so it's not easy, but.
$2,000 for 24 people? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So is is the the two hour? It's only is the two hour training a deal breaker? You know, which? How long is the training for trainers? Six point five hours. There's always another question that I didn't ask. I know. I know. Um, in my other work, we sometimes have had, you know, a two-hour session on a Friday evening and then the full day the next day. Oh, with this very or not other? With the, not with this organization, but other kinds of trainings. Well, that's a good that's idea. A model work. Okay. So, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, probably easier than trying to get all 24 people to take it and be done. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know how where to go from here. Um, like, I didn't get like a solid commitment from the East Hampton mayor, mm -hmm. um, but she seemed very excited about it. But she also seemed like she wouldn't be in a position to do it till later. Right. Um, like, I'm inclined to suggest we choose at least a month that we want to have this in and start. You looking for the planning board? No, I'm looking for um, Pam Powers and. Um, oh, I know where it is because yeah, it's in second floor hearing room. Second floor hearing room. Yeah. Okay. In the city hall. Oh, right across. Yep. Yeah. Across oh, the parking lot. Okay. okay. I'm misunderstood. Yeah. Thank you. Um, a, a month. So what the what East, the East Hampton mayor was saying is her. She said that her. Um, that community relations, yes, that community relations <laughs> committee is probably not going to get up and running until January. Now, I didn't know, I didn't, couldn't quite tell from that if she meant that it wouldn't be till after that because she has to select the people. Right. So I, I have a feeling, you know, that they might be able to come to a training sooner, but she hasn't started with the selection process. She's going to start after Labor Day. Target a date, uh, a month at least, that we're looking at, um, and start working on each logistics. I, I feel con I feel comfortable enough with the information we have that I think this is a good idea for us to move forward on. Um, <coughs> there's still more information to get, more questions to ask, as always. But I think that we can start it moving. Mm -hmm. So it occurs to me that you know. International Human Rights Day might be nice to connect it with that, but that's sooner than you think. December, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it seems like far away, but these kind of things, if you only need once a month, take time. Right. So I don't know if we should try for that. And December's a hard time to get people to commit to. Well, that's true. Whole day. That's a good point. Maybe we should think about February when everybody's really depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I mention February? I just thought that would be a good month. You know, I mean, it gives us time to prepare it because we still have to talk to all these other municipalities and everything. It's yeah. going to take time for them to make decisions. They're going to have to go to meetings. Yeah. The only problem in February is the possibility of snow. But I ain't going to talk June. <laughs> <laughs> we can ask um, Quabbin if they're willing to hold a, a snow date. Okay. To fall in. Okay, another question to ask. First of all, I I just sort of put out there that I think we should go forward, but that's open. No, I think oh, it's a good idea. I agree. I'm, I'm with you. you. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, and so I'm hearing February seems manageable in terms of timing and preparation. So should I be reaching out to Quabbin and like? Getting greasing the wheels for that kind of thing. Okay. Yes. Tell them we're, we're interested in doing it. She also said, um, she said, um, I can reach out and make connections if needed. So I suppose if we feel like we are having trouble, she might be able to try to connect us up with some groups that would be interesting. So 
Well, let's let's see what um, let's wait a couple of weeks to see what our neighboring communities say. And I brought here a, a flyer about cleaning active bystanders. If anybody wants to look at it, um, look at anybody. Is it the same as on your website? I don't know. She sent it to me. Oh. Probably it is on the website. So you'll ask if they, what dates they have yep. in February, and if they need to do a, um, if they need to take the basic training first. And if so, how much would that two-hour thing the night before be? Right. Okay. Uh, we can wait until September to decide whether we want to approach Smith or Blue Dickinson or some outside source for funding, or would we like to get that started? Um, well, I have a contact at Cooley Dickinson, so I could take that on, and we might ask Davina if she could do the Smith thing. Mm -hmm. but do you do you have contacts at Cooley Dickinson? Okay. Um, the only contact I ever show in the office. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> can't go any higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> because mine isn't any better than that. <laughs> Who is yours? Jeff Harness. He was at the. Um, he was at the. Yeah. Yes, the right. Yes. Okay. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Put that in the minutes. <laughs> the only thing in the minutes is that we are pursuing this. <laughs> I'm not naming other names. No, so Joanne and I. Um, Doctor at Beth Israel oh. before, and she was an uh, administrator at Beth Israel, so we knew each other before we came up to the alley. Oh, okay. Do you, are you, will you send a letter? Do you want a letter? I'll probably email it. Okay. okay. I will um, connect with Tina. It's probably better for, for me not to do it because I did always ask them for money for hours, so you know what I mean? So don't even say who's on here. <laughs> Not that boring. That's <laughs> not And when we get so when we get a little bit more information, probably probably by the October meeting, we could start letting people know that this is happening. Yeah, and you're really good with making graphic. Well, Norell is really good. Oh yeah, Norell is really good at that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Good, we have plenty of we'll have graphics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Laura, you mentioned International Human Rights Day. Oh yeah, I did. Right. Um, so we did have an event there uh, for that day last year. It has been a tradition in the past of this of this group to do something to commemorate the day. When is it? December. December fifteenth. It's mid December. I wanted to say 12, but I'm on that wrong. 19. The 10th. 10th. Okay. So I'm not sure. Or, or I am under the um, belief that we're not supposed to talk about something that's not on the agenda. Am I wrong about that? You would have to wait till new business. Oh, okay. Sorry. But it seems like what one thought I had is if that's true, we could just all think about it. Right. And come back next month. In well, I was I was going to link it to the um, final accounting of our civility pledge. Oh, okay. Um, which had uh, 545. person and on mm -hmm. And we may want to include that in our, um, in whatever we do on that day. Yeah. You know, last year at this time we launched this campaign. This year we're taking it a step forward and doing this. I'm sorry, how, what was the number? 545. Great school on up to the to the adult generations. Well, I would really like to talk about some different ideas uh, connected to international human rights day that we could connect. Okay. Um, let's. I guess if 
officially what we can do is take new business out of order and have that conversation now since it's kind of connected. So do we have some ideas? Well, let, last year or the year before, I can't remember, we talked about, we had been talking when Elisa was coming to our meetings about the idea of doing listening circles around the city. Mm -hmm. Now, around the city sounds a little ambitious, but I think it would be really good to have some kind of community event where people come talk about, you know, how they feel North Hampton is with regard to human rights. And um, we might partner up with the city council on that. At least it was interested in doing it. So other city council might be. Um, on the other hand, so that's one thought I had, but and then I'm going to disagree with myself <laughs> and say, well, maybe that's too much like Northampton Connects, and if that's how people feel, I understand that. So. Except, um, I don't think Northampton Connects tries to talk about human rights mm -hmm. as, as a topic, so yeah. I mean, that we really need to refine that. We end up talking about rights, but it, that's not the goal. The yeah. goal is just talking. Yeah, right. Yeah. As best we can, you know, under our guidelines. Yeah. Right. 
I mean, that's why I think it's important to have the war, have it, the war and the politicians there because there would be things that we can't address, but they may be able to. I like this idea. What do you mean? What are human rights issues that you think people will bring? Yeah, um, I guess. Because I, this could be about potholes. Right. Um, or it could be about the surveillance cameras. Or it could be about police. Or yeah. it could be about. So I, I think you have to, especially when you go ward by ward, right. it's like what. Maybe it's all the same issues, and maybe it's none of the same issues. I, I guess I, I sort of wonder: Do you, would you have to start the meeting with sort of examples of here's what we want to talk about, here's what we're not talking? about? I think you even do it before the meeting. Mm -hmm. I think you do it in the invitation. You know, talk about it. Here's what's going to be discussed, and here's the you know, the, under the guidelines of human rights. And, we're not talking about potholes. You know, we're not talking about maintenance. We're not talking about, you know, I don't like because my neighbor parks his car in front of my house or something like that. You know, and, and you could very well give some example of human right, you know, police cooperation, I don't know, you know, something like that. But I think you've got to give them kind of a heads up, okay, this is what we're talking about. Well, I mean I think somebody could make an argument that potholes does have to do with human rights because it like people with disabilities, not really necessarily potholes, but like sidewalk problems are a barrier to people with disabilities. So, you know. Well, and yeah, maybe that's not, not a good example, but I mean, I think you could, you could give examples of things to kind of get the mentality of, okay, this is what we're talking about. And not as opposed to, this is not what we're gonna talk about. This is what we'd like to talk about. You know, kind of a, here's what we want them, not here's what we don't want, mm -hmm. you know, and then I think it's really up to the discussion to kind of, you know, you, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna plan this. You're gonna wanna have somebody lead the discussion and, you know, I mean, guide it to somewhat. I love that we have an agenda with our mission on here. And to me, that, that could be the thing that would help us is to, the commission shall advocate the <coughs> resource for the rights guaranteed by law on the basis of race, color, gender, physical or mental ability, religion, socioeconomic status, ethnic or national origin, sexual identification, identification, orientation, or age. So that's pretty much it. Um, if that's what we're promoting human rights in Northampton and advocating, then we want to find out if people are feeling um, having problems with regard to any of these things. This would be a big undertaking. Um, I like the idea, but. I imagine what we might need to do is figure out what we think these meetings would look like. Go to the city council and ask the city council, do they agree that this is something they would like to participate in? I don't, I don't know if this works under this rubric at the city council. They could say, sounds good, go. Mm -hmm. No, we're not coming. Right, right. Um, and I don't know what meeting that has to um, um, and then the organization. I mean, I, I like this idea enough that, you know, if we decide to run with it, I'd be glad to talk with people in Northampton and Connects and say, is this something we would want to help out with? Because um, they have trained facilitators. So, yeah. um, and they sort of like this idea of community discussions. Um, and it's sort of, there's, Quite frankly, it grew out of frustration about the city council process that people don't talk to each other, they just stand at that podium and, yeah. and yeah. start yelling. <laughs> so um, it's sort of, that's the opportunity to try to set something like that up. Yeah. Um, so I think there might be interest, but 
we would have to the steps I think we need to do are formal. Yeah, I like that idea about reaching out to the council, seeing where they're at. I mean, the other thing is to reach out to Elisa and find out what her vision was if we want to do that. I mean, because she's been talking about it. I'm not sure if she wanted to see how she is. She no longer attending these meetings. I have seen her quite a while. Yes. Um, she's not. She's the. There were new assignments made for different committees for councilors to be liaisons to, and she's certainly welcome to continue being here. But she has other. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was very helpful when she was here because she could turn around. We'd be going off on a thing, and she's saying, "Well, mm -hmm. city council can't do that." That we didn't know. So. You know, and her voice in just this discussion would have been helpful because I think she would have been helpful to say, yeah, I think, you know, I think here's who you might want to approach or whatever. Mm -hmm. Karen, what do you think about having, seeing if the city council wants to do it with us? Declaration. 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 Yes. 
Yes. And adapt something from that to the virtual community. Yeah. Brilliant. This is going to make my brain start working on overdrive because I already think about things like we have to have it in Spanish and, you know, it makes me tired. <laughs> There's a lot to do. One second. We won't need that today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. I have nothing to report about the air conditioning policy. Uh, that is They basically made it go away when I first the decisions. And so it, it, <coughs> it I only put, put it on the agenda because it was something in the minutes. We had they, talked about asking them to clarify why they were, how, what was driving that decision yeah. in the first place. But yes, so let's officially let it go. Can I say it's now moved? Yes. Sure. Have you been wanting to say that word? It's a good word. <laughs> I don't get to say it much in this. <laughs> <laughs> we still have an opening on the commission. And no applicants buying in and knocking the doors down. So, so I, I put this on the agenda thinking we could just brainstorm like ways to get some interest or maybe we know people but one thought I had is if ever if, if maybe I don't know if this is appropriate but if, if this would be appropriate if everybody here is on Facebook we could all post something on Facebook mm -hmm. that there's an opening. I mean I'm assuming that the mayor has appointed someone because no one's applied. So I think that's a great idea. I think the key is though we all need to say the same thing. Yes I agree. So we need to come up with some sort of a Sentence <laughs> for lack of a better thing, mm -hmm. <clears throat> because we need to we need to make sure we're all on the same wavelength here. But I think that's a great idea. It's a great social media to try and get the word out. But we need to just come up with something. Doesn't Arizona have a Facebook or Twitter? Yeah. 
tinkerish. I wonder if we want to have a little tiny bit of text from our mission, like. We do need that, okay. because I don't think, most people say, what, what is what yeah. do you do? Mm -hmm. So we have, it's on the, it's on the um, agenda, but I mean, you could just say the HRC um, advocates, um, and pr ad promotes and advocates for human rights. How about I make that? Into a graphic. Okay. And then share it with us that we can post. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. That's a good idea. I wonder if we should add something about it being like a once a month commitment too, so people who are super busy know mm -hmm. that it's not mm -hmm. a huge like, undertaking. You just say we need, you know, we need the four twenty of every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Will you use this graphic and then just add some words to it? Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Yes. So, the if, what if five people apply? The mayor will choose. Okay. What's the basis of his choosing? Do we have old? I know when I applied, the mayor told me there's at least two other people that are applying. Can we go? Can we revisit those? Is he able to recontact them and say that like, we do have a spot that's open if you're still interested? Or? I suppose he could. Um, he's known that we have an opening. Okay. So I, maybe just didn't, so. I mean, I think we have to just keep reminding him. But I think yeah. that if we do this, that'll be a way mm -hmm. to know to are remind there, him. Are there people who would not be people who would be seated on this? Say that again. Is there a reason why someone would not be seated on this committee? There has been. Yeah, we have a not too recent past possible example of that. Mm -hmm. Someone with uh, questionable Twitter questions that uh, got on scene herself. But that's it's not our call to make Exactly, that's the thing. Well, that, no, I just, um, the discomfort of lots of people apply is how does the choice get made? It's, that would it's be a wonderful just a, problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't mean that facetiously, but that would be a nice problem. Okay. You don't have that issue. I mean, the mayor makes the call, but then the city council approves the Correct. Person. So it does get done in public, but the initial putting the name before the city council happens in the privacy of the mayor's office and I certainly looks at the thing and and quite frankly considering what has happened in the past I suspect the mayor will, will do a little bit more vetting than he has mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. My only concern with, with this being um, you know, our primary strategy is that um, I don't know how to it's not I know the people that are in my Facebook network are not don't represent the the breadth of diversity in the city. Right. So. Well, I mean, I just think this is just one way. Yes. You know. Um. Can we do like flyers? Post them around town, or is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could, but I don't know. Think of like stores like um, I know Starbucks has that board. Mm -hmm. The Juan Goberry has that board. Sweeties has one. Haymarket, yeah, like little places like that. Just posting flyers in those stores, mm -hmm. maybe mainly cafes, I think. So I think what you're saying is you really want to put up posters in areas. This is one of those things I learned in Northampton. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who don't go downtown. Right. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. It's too complicated. It's mm -hmm. too difficult. It's not the access isn't right. Um, and that's sort of an unheard voice. Right. But flyers around Hampshire Heights or Florence Heights.
the thing is, I mean, if we have a Facebook post, the mayor can post it. All the city councilors can post it. I mean, that's that's what happens with Facebook. You don't just have your network, your people share with their people, and we can ask that people share. I mean, I even even in all those networks you named, I'm not sure how many residents of Florence Heights or Kitchen Heights are there. Well, I don't know, but I mean, it's probably more effective than putting in the Gazette. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll try. We'll try. I mean, I'd just like to be able to see yes. before somebody else is. It, it would take a little bit of pressure off in terms of um, worrying about the forum. Yeah, right. Um, have you heard from Christine? I have. Um, I don't know what, she, what she's going to do. Okay. She knew that it would be. She's going back to work next week. Uh, Carla had a work thing today. I remember Davina saying she was going on vacation. Yeah, this is an odd week, remember? Yes. Yes. Is there any other new business? May I uh, make a motion that we adjourn? Second. All in favor?